Hello, welcome to JD's Prep. In this example, the diagram below is of right triangle ABC. So let's draw in a right angle in that triangle. Altitude BD is drawn to hypotenuse AC. Right, so let's also draw in that right angle as well. The important thing is that BD is an altitude. So because BD is an altitude and it's drawn to the hypotenuse, we can use the geometric mean or altitude theorem. Okay. What the altitude theorem says in the example for us, right, is that side AD, which is here, over our altitude, BD, is equal to our altitude BD over the other leg that is formed, or the other segment, DC. Right? So the altitude splits the hypotenuse into two segments. AD, which we know is x minus 6, right? because that's given. And it splits it into another segment, CD, which is given to us as x. Okay? And you can form a proportion using this theorem. Okay? The other thing that we know is that our altitude is a measure of 4. So because we have this proportion, we can plug in all the information that we know and solve for x. So AD, right, that one segment, is x minus 6 over our altitude, which is 4. And that's equal to our altitude, 4, over our other line segment, which is x. Because this is a proportion, in order to solve the proportion, we're going to cross multiply here. Right? So 4 times 4 is equal to x times x minus 6. 4 times 4 is 16. And then on the right side there, we're going to distribute. Okay. So x times x is x squared minus 6x. In order to solve this, now I see that I have x squared. And in order to solve a quadratic, I need it equal to 0. So we're going to take that 16, and we're going to subtract it over to the other side of the equal sign. So that it get it equal to 0. And now I have x squared minus 6x minus 16. The reason why we need it equal to 0 is because we want to use the zero product principle. In order to use that, I need to factor this quadratic. And so that factors to x minus 8 times x plus 2. When I set each of those to 0, right, x minus 8 can be equal to 0, or x plus 2 can be equal to 0. And then I solve each one of those. The one on the left, I add 8, and I get x is equal to 8. For the one on the right, I subtract 2 on both sides, and I get x is equal to negative 2. Because I'm dealing with a length, it does not make sense to have a negative length, so we can reject that solution. And so x has to be equal to 8, which in this case 